Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Space Nerd Plays Attack of the B Team! And what you see here beside me is a complete collection of every trophy, guys! We did it! We got every trophy in the game! Yeah! So, I'm obviously pretty excited about that. And, um... The last one that we got here was the iron golem. And we had to... I made an iron golem farm. Just copied Doc M77's iron golem farm tutorial. It's pretty easy because I could fly. And we did that. We moved the trophies over here. And this is going to be something that we're going to work on today. Actually, let's take a look at our clipboard. And, right, so today's topic is Tropicraft. Now, I have been to Tropicraft already. And I got a couple things, and I made like a little beach area here. And I am a little hungry. Let's uh go up and see Marcy. See if she could fix us something to eat real quick first before we head to Tropic Crap. Marcy. Marcy, where is Marcy? What the heck? Ah, uh, maybe she's in the bathroom. You know how the ladies are. Let's see. Marcy, you in here, honey? What? Featherman! Marcy! How could you? Oh, I'm devastated. Guys, we'll be right back. Well, guys, I just had a long talk with Featherman and Marcy in. Seems they're moving out together. She took half of the shroom powder there. And, uh... I'm all alone. But we have Tropicraft. So let's head over there. <laughs> okay, so... Back to the man cave. Let's go. And what we're gonna do is head up here. Now you crafty guys probably have seen this in passing before. But we haven't talked about it. So I made this little tiki bar, and we have a guy here, Capena, and he sells us cocktails. I got all this stuff from Tropicraft. And the way that you originally go to Tropicraft is you get, make one of these beach chairs and an umbrella. You sit down in it, and you drink a cocktail, like we have there, during sunset, and it, it creates this Tropicraft portal. Now, I filled it in with sand, because I'm not going to use it anymore. I have my Enhanced Portal 2 uh, portal to take us over. But we got a nice little beach area, and you see this water isn't just plain old water. It's actually special water from the Tropic Craft area. Uh, let's get a bucket of it, and I'll show you. You see? Bucket of Tropics water. And they have lots of corals down here. We have corals and different marine life. Which we're definitely going to check out. I think I dropped my hand. Yep, there it is. So we got my hand back. Let's put on my armor. And um, another mod we're going to talk about today in Tropicraft is Archimedes Ships. Uh, so we talked about the beach that we built here. Our little slice of Tropicraft that we made here at home. Um, and then the Archimedes ship, we're going to name the boat that I had made. So let's head to the tropics. And you see I dyed it so it's a blue uh, portal. The nether will have a red portal and the moon has a white one. Pretty cool. So I'll show you how... Oh, we're in Tropicraft. Yes, great. Oh, it's so loud here. Alright, never mind. So, this is not where I spawned. Where I spawned was, like, around here somewhere. Who knows? But I found this uh, little village here, like a Tropicraft village, just like a dock area, and I decided to settle down here. So I claimed this last house here as my own, and I just kind of moved my junk in here. All these masks are from Tropicraft as well. Some 
scuba masks, fishing nets, uh, some flippers, blow guns, a dagger, all this cool stuff. And I made even a little basement with this bowl, which uh, we're also going to work on, hopefully. And then here is the boat I was talking about. I have a drawbridge here with like an extendable dock. And this is an actual Archimedes ship. So I made uh, a little roof. Oh my god, that broke so easy. Little roof thing with the wool slabs. Got my helm here, all the passenger seating, some storage. And it's going to go on its maiden voyage. So the maiden voyage, you always need to name your ship before you go. Uh, it's bad luck to not have a ship named. So we're going to name this ship the Fish Shizzle. Uh, there we go. Fish Shizzle. <laughs> Ooh, and it looks all weird. So let's head off on our maiden voyage, huh? What are we going to do here? We named the boat. We are going to find some mahogany. Because my office, where I have the computer and the printing press and all that stuff, it has many leather-browned books. But now we have to have it smell of rich mahogany. <laughs> Uh, so where can we find mahogany around here? I've, I've already explored out towards the west, so let's head towards the east. That would be to our right. And off on our maiden voyage on the fish shizzle. Woo! This thing's pretty quick, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm going to be on the lookout for... Oh, dinosaurs! I'm going to be on the lookout for <laughs> uh, some mahogany trees. And when I find some, we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are uh, found some mahogany trees. And we're here in Tropicraft. And we have some mahogany off of the starboard side of the boat now in maritime terms oh look the chest got all turned great is our sign still there fish is still there fish is um so the right side of a boat is the starboard side the port side is the left side and the front is the bow and the back is the stern so let's grab our lumbar axe or tree capacitator because it has flux on it. Let's cut down some mahogany trees for our office. Whoa, there we go. No saplings? Really? Give me a sapling, guy. Turn off this thing. Man, this thing just does work. Rainforest? Gone. Uh, saplings, though. No saplings. Oh, well, whatever, we have the wood for days, and I don't know if these leaves are any special. Let's grab some of these leaves. Let's use our tears for shears. Mm, I think there's another, yeah, there's a mahogany tree here. Look how cool this is. I wanted the sapling so we could uh, grow this at home. Why is this so slow? Oh, my. Atlanta? No saplings. Are you kidding me? Rainforest leaves. Wow. Oh boy. Alright, let's cut this one down. And, uh, that we should be more than good. Let's actually put this stuff in Gucci it's for our mahogany. Oh, okay. There you go. Good job, Gucci. Collect the things. Let me help. I'm helping. And, okay, so, Gucci, get over here, guy. And, back at me. So, here we have one of the rare natural inhabitants of <laughs> the Tropicraft Mod. We have our monkey. 
Hello, monkey. Hi. And this is the one of the more dangerous mobs. The Easter Island Head. Now, I could go ahead and I think if we, like, bump into him, he'll turn hostile. Hey, guy. No, he's fine. If we smack him. Okay. Yep. He's unhappy with that decision we've made. And we can't hit him. Oh, I thought a pickaxe would hurt him. All right, guy. You're stuck there now, huh? Think about what you did. Think about it. Actually. You know what? You're going to think about it in a Pokeball. Give me a Pokeball. Seriously? That's going to give me bad dreams. Ugh. I need to use the launcher. <laughs> and... Capture mode. Come here. You're mine. Got him! And while we're at it, let's grab a monkey, right? Can never have enough monkeys. Okay. You guys, you stay here, okay? Don't tell anybody about this or you get the blade. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to the fishizzle. Let's take a look at all clipboards. So we got mahogany for the office. Uh, so, oh, that we're not doing that yet. We're going to set up the mahogany. Now, what we want is to go... <gasps> get stuff for the fish tank and look what we have down here we have I'm just gonna put all these in here we have some manta rays spotted eagle ray that would look good for the uh oh I hate this dang rushing sound that barely helps okay better now Let's go ahead and capture one of these guys for our fish tank. Yeah! Uh, where is it? Did it float up? Yeah, it floated up. Here we go. Alright, and... <gasps> look at that! Out in the distance. It's another fishy. Hello, fishy fishy. What are you? You're a marlin! Alright, let's get the marlin. Boop! Yeah, we got a marlin. Alright, so we're gonna have a marlin and a spotted eagle ray. So, those are good. Now, on the fish shizzle in my chest, I have our dive kit. Uh, it's in this chest. Ah, we have some buckets some flippers actually I'm gonna leave the flippers because those things kinda stink for fishing I could uh, just like kinda fly in the water uh, and let's just fill up a whole bunch of buckets so I got one two three four that's just regular water guy I don't want you uh, give me special water alright so we got five buckets and this fishing net we could do the and they're kinda tough to spot but you see these little guys here? Ooh, here's one. So let's try and catch them with the fishing. Yeah, I think we got them. Yeah, we got a yellow tang. Okay, cool. And we'll take uh, some of this coral. Thank you. And look how cool it, it provides light. So that'll be good for the fish tank as well. Now, I hear tell that there is a clownfish or uh, a Nemo as some of you may call them <laughs> so let's see if we could find some more of these fishy fishies what are you fish I don't want you but I want to be you am I you oh, I guess I may have killed one before because this isn't the first time I've been here uh, let's get some more of this stuff uh, Okay, let's put the uh, guys we've already caught in here to free up some room. Excelente. And do we have any other fishies? We're getting far away from our fishizzle. Alright, let's just, uh, we got a yellow tang. Let's move to a new area. I think I saw one over here. Ah, it's a marlin. 
You kill him, Marlin. You're dead, Marlin. Marlin, you're dead. Uh huh. So I do not see any more fishy fishies except for Marlins and Rays. I think it may be. And where's my fish chisel? There it is. Ha! Look how cool it looks on the map. Uh, I think it they spawn. You have to wait a while though in that area. So let's head back because we've spent some time around the fish chisel. And look, a little mini ravine. That's pretty cool. And there might be more spawned around here. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to stay around here for a little while. Uh, see if some more spawn. And I'll bring you guys back so we can catch some more fishy fishies for our fishy tank that we're going to make in our mad scientist cave. So, uh, as the sun rises, so does a new day and a new opportunity for us to be right back. We got one, guys. There is a Nemo straight ahead. So we're going to catch Nemo. We found Nemo. We <laughs> our goal is complete. So let's give him a catch here. Hoo and off camera, I have found a Royal Gamma, a Yellow Tang, a Clownfish, and then we have our um, eel, uh, not our eel, our manta ray, and our marlin. I think that's a pretty good catch for our fish tank. Hey, wow, these uh, came back to be in the right place. So that's awesome. <laughs> so let's put away our fishing net. Uh, I guess we could empty these water buckets and put those back with our fishing supply. Hey, empty up, I say. I'm clicking, empty. Uh, you go back here and you go back here and back up to the fish chisel we go and let's put away the extra buckets mercy buckets and we're actually oh yeah we're gonna leave two because they're part of the uh, supplies here on the fish chisel one two and we got a monkey we got a uh, Easter Island head and right here off the starboard side, oh wait, the port side, the left side, kind of towards the bow, there is a volcano I wanted to explore with you guys. Um, these are spawned naturally in the tropical craft area, and I think they're made out of chunko head. So I do want to grab some of this chunko head, see what we could do with it. I know that you could make, oh, it's filled up with lava. Well, it is a volcano. See if there's anything below the lava. How deep do you go, lava? Lava, you do not burn me. That's ah, so boring. <laughs> uh, ooh, what's here? Lighting glitch? Lighting glitch. So not much to explore in... Ooh, what's that? Around here, but there is lots of chunk of head to be had. Let's grab our zappy and zap some of this stuff for ourselves here. And I think uh, 57 now, yeah, that should be more than enough. Lots of head chunks. Let's see what we could use this for. Press U on our keyboard, we can make slabs, stairs, a dagger. It's cool. The drink mixer I've made already. And a curare bowl. Which we can make to make different... Or not make... Which you use to make different types of... Blow... Or darts for the blowgun. Ooh, what kind of fish is this? Do I have a fishing net? Oh, I already have one of these guys. You die. I kill it. I kill you. Um. So... That is about all that I wanted to do in Tropic Craft for today. Now I want to head back and make the fishy tank. Um, and I don't want to leave the fish chisel. Usually I just use my witch hand and teleport back, but I don't want to leave the fish chisel out here. So I'm going to make the journey back to the port and just use our 
um, Enhanced Portals 2 to head back home. I believe this is the way. So I'll see you back home. We will make our office smell of rich mahogany because we already have many leather bound books which I'd love to show you. We'll fill up the fish tank we have to bring some oh good thing I thought of that we have to bring some of this water for the fish tank two buckets should be enough to make an infinite spring and I'll see you guys back at the cave and we're back just made it through the portal and before I forget I did want to show you guys let's let Gucci out to play Gucci you're holding all the rich mahogany uh, I did want to show you guys. Let's grab a lapis. Boom, boom. Um, so how we dye or make the portals different colors. So in the dial device, um, let's just delete this tropics one and then re-add it here. So let's just rename it tropics. Set the identifier of the lapis. Save. And then here, dang it, I don't have, let's cancel. Uh, I need to have the actual, hey, where's my lapis? Ooh, this might be, sometimes when I, I go from dimension to dimension, it gets a little wonker. Hmm. Are you in there? Okay. Gucci, what's happening? Is this real life? I'm gonna relog. Be right back. All right, relogged real quick, and we have the lapis now. So let's just show you real quick. It's really handy uh, when you're making the connection. So you put in the name, the tropics, set the identifier, and this is what I just picked. It. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, let's push O. Or okay, let's just type in here. Blah 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 thank you and now what we do you see the lapis in my inventory so this is the thickness and this would be the facade now if we take a die and we click onto the facade you see how it's a blue facade now and you can right click it to take it off and it doesn't actually use it it just dies it without using the die it's like magic die and we could save that and now if we dial we have blue portal super neat now let's put this back let's put this back and that, that that and let's get rid of let's actually get the matic so we could be more precise let's get rid of these walls we were gonna do uh, something with the open blocks paint but I think we're gonna leave that to a larger scale project that I have in mind later on we're gonna do a big paint job here look at this spot I think this used to be where I kept do you guys remember I used to have um, all those different bushes for food down here the bushes I need to think of something to do with those bushes they're just sitting in my inventory now so this is all gone almost great the walls are gone <laughs> it looks weird uh, Gucci do you have my things I need the rich mahogany please uh, so I'll need 64 plus 10 if I can do math which I do not claim to at all and looks like Gucci got stuck on the wall here where did you go buddy there you are so let's wall up the oh forgot a spot wall up the area here with the rich mahogany oh, weird. and uh, I might speed this up for you guys Right. So, oh wow, this gives a really cool effect. 
What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Either way, look at this glorious collection of leather-bound books that we have. And can you in any way doubt that this room smells of rich mahogany? I think this is staying. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, let me know. So, up next, we are going to uh, give a... Yeah, where is... I forgot the dang water! I even told myself to get the dang water. Uh, let's take a look at this portal again. This should be quick. So, buckets, yes. Oh, no, not like that. Buckets, yes. One, two, and back through. Load. Good. All right, so we're going to be an owl today. And let's just break into here. And I think the first step would definitely be to just fill it up with the tropics water. So, there we go, two buckets of Tropics water, let's just do one here, and one here, and now we got an infinite source, which we could use to fill up the rest, and we're doing it every layer so that there's no, like, downward force or anything when we come in here, because obviously we're going to come swim with the fishies, or sleep with the fishies, no, we're not sleeping with the fishies. Uh-huh. And one there. That should be infinite. Fill her up. Uh does it need more? Why you why you no fill? Now we fill. One there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that should fill up. Yep. And one more layer. Okay. You, you fill, okay, you fill, and now if we put this, that should fill it up. Yeah, let's see what it looks like from the outside now. Uh, it's very dark. And that looks kind of like crap. So let's get rid of this sand block, definitely. And we're gonna need to get some lighting. Uh, oh yeah, I did have a one of these. I had got a skull lantern. Uh, Cause you know, that's pretty common to have in a, that lights things up, in a fish tank, one of those skulls. I don't know, I've seen those in before in a fish tank. Usually they have like one of those skulls and a, and a boat, like a sunken ship. Now we don't have a sunken ship, but we do have that. And I think an issue that we're having here is this glass is so thick. I wonder if we could put, like, um, cut these, but it won't be borderless that way. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna stick with this. I was gonna think, I was thinking about doing it with micro blocking these things, but no, no micro block. No, no micro block. No. All right, let's uh, get some of these going. I like these pink ones. They're cute. Some some brains. Uh, there's a cool one, uh, a blue. And that's fresh marlin. That is not a coral. Coral go here. Uh, let's get there's like yeah these little fire looking ones. Cool. I think there's too many of the pink ones. Yep. Let's get something a little bit taller for the back here. Oh, this looks cool and it's tall. Yeah, that's definitely gonna look good. Why is this look weird now? Why you look weird? Why you not have water? Water. Hmm. I definitely, that's, cannot stay. Okay, so we will move this back. Ow, stop. 
not ow. <laughs> that didn't hurt. <laughs> but let's put this here. And let's put this here. Uh, what should we put on the top here? I think this one, the pink, could go on the top. <gasps> A fishy spawned! Hi, fishy! So I guess these corals spawn them. So we got the pink up there. Uh, let's put this one right there below it. Yeah. And is it too much to have one like in every block? I think so. We'll get rid of this. All right, let's take a look. How does this look? That looks better. We have a fish tank, guys. What do you think? It's a little bit derp, but I kind of like it. Um, it's a fish tank. Now, the last steps, let's go ahead and grab... That's a monkey, Easter Island head. Here's the marlin. And we could use the anvil to name the marlin. And I am from Miami, Florida. And our baseball team is called the Florida Marlins. And the mascot is Billy. Billy the Marlin. So Billy now has a name. Billy will now go live in here. Billy, welcome home. Yay, Billy! There he is, guys. What do you think? You like Billy? Give a thumbs up, a like if you can for Billy if you like him. All right. Now, next episode, we are kind of running long here, so next episode, we're going to take a look at the Iron Golem Farm, and I don't know. What do you guys want to see in the next episode? There is a project that is on my clipboard that I kind of ran out of time for. Where's my clipboard, by the way? Uh, here it is. Uh, here. Which is Wave Race 65. So I was going to do the Archimedes ships again to do a uh, kind of like a jet ski race in this vi this river that we have here but do you see the river goes all around like a so and through here we made this we got to look at that and now i want to make a new river that goes around like that so maybe next episode we'll make a new river make some jet skis and have a jet ski race um, let me know what you guys think and I would like to thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye